All right, everybody, this is Joshua Castle back at you with Plug and Boutique. This is video three in the Drum Synth 500 video series. This is the last video where we actually go in and use the Drum Synth 500 to add some drums to a track. This is what I came up with preparing for this tutorial. I think it works pretty well. And all it has here is some music on channel one. And then the drum synth on channel two. So it's pretty cool. And I think we're just going to go ahead and redo it. But we're probably going to come up with something a little bit different. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and add a new MIDI channel here inside of Ableton Live. I'm going to go ahead and turn off that first one, come into plugins, drum synth, drop it on here, fresh version. And then I'm gonna come over to samples. And the way I've found gets me results quickly is just to come into these MIDI files and just start dropping them on there. It doesn't really matter what kit I'm using, just until I find something that fits the vibe of the track. So this is kind of like old school housey. So I just keep dragging and dropping until I find something that kind of has that four to the floor style. And then I'd go in and find a kit that was closer to what I was looking for, and then go in a third time and fine tune everything. And that might include changing up some of the synth settings and switching up some of the MIDI. So let's go ahead and do that until we we find something that we like. Okay, so that's got the four to the floor. Now we can come over here and solo this and find a kit that's closer to what we're looking for. I really like that clap there. I already have synths and stuff, so I'm gonna mute this channel. Let's see what that sounds like with the audio or with that music. All right, so this is cool. Cool, so I think that's already pretty close. I might tune up the kick here. And all I'm doing here is just kind of tweaking the amp envelope so it's not so bassy because there's already a little bit of bass in the audio, so I don't need a thick kick. Um, so I just turned down the decay time here and I kind of punched up the pitch here. And then we have the noise setting. And I might send that little fill there to a little bit more reverb and delay. And remember, we've got our send effects over here, so we can tweak those if we want. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and choose the large plate for the second reverb. And of course, play that with the music. And let's come into the MIDI, zoom in here. Maybe add some bongos. Something like that. And let's choose a different sound. All 
Yeah, I think that sounds pretty good. I mean, that's really all it is too. It's a very simple to use plugin. You just got to get in and find what you're looking for, whatever project you're starting, you know what I mean? Or working on rather. Maybe turn on the saturation insert over here. Ooh, that's filthy type one. <laughs> So yeah, I'm feeling it. I guess this is a super short tutorial because of how easy it is to use this. I would say the biggest helpful hint I can give you is to just drag the drum synth on there, run through these 500 MIDI clips until you find something that has kind of the rhythm you're looking for for your track, and then go in and find a drum kit that sounds similar to what you're doing, and then go in and fine tune from there. The workflow is just that quick and that simple and that good, and you're gonna get great results. I mean, we just did that in what, five minutes? And I mean, I'm already happy with what I have. So anyway, that's a quick look at using the drum synth 500 in a real world situation. It's super easy to use. If you missed the first two videos, highly suggest checking those out too. This is a really great synth that gets results very, very quickly, and the results sound good every time. So this is Joshua Casper here for Plug and Boutique. I hope you learned something, and I'll see you in the next video. Yeah.